Well, it's uh, sensational. It's absolutely brilliant. And um, to have it recognised here, because the, 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 the audience that I was most scared of their reaction to On the Red Hill was the audience here in Wales, you know, particularly in the area of Western Montgomery Street that I write about. You know, as an incomer, as somebody who's who's only been there for only been here for twenty years, so that's just the blink of an eye in in local history. Um, I, I I was wary of it, but the reaction here locally and in Wales generally has been just the, the best of all. It really has, and I'm I'm so grateful for that, and I'm so amazed to have found not just a, a home here but but a kind of muse and and an inspiration as well because of course that's what the book is is all about is about here and about home and about finding place so it means more than anything else that somewhere like wales which is such has such a strong sense of place i mean i've found this in all my work over the years wherever i go if i meet people they have such a strong sense of their mishti square and and that is such part of the welsh way of life and to be recognized in in as part of that is is so fantastic and i'm so grateful for it well i suppose one of the features of the book you know we are it is a banging the drum for what i call the queer rural i mean there is the history of this there is a, a slender body of literature you know people like edward carpenter and derek jarman james baldwin even who you know, ended up uh, in a village in France. Um, the Ladies of Flangothan, you know, is a good Welsh example. So there have been, uh, you know, pioneers before who have kind of made it to the, to the countryside. But of course, it's often thought that the queer place is an urban thing, you know, it is the city. Um, and what I really wanted to do with On the Red Hill was to try and say, you know what, we belong everywhere everybody belongs everywhere whatever grouping you come from you know you have a place if you want to be part of that place uh, and that's the important thing and I, I think for us all to, to to know now and i think in lockdown and in, in the last few months this has been a real strong thing because a lot of people have found themselves possibly not in the right place and it has hastened ideas of where they might be better suited where they might be more content and where they might fit better and so if in some small way on the Red Hill can just give the green light to people who have been feeling the urge for such a long time and for whom the last few months of the COVID pandemic has really brought it to the surface. Well, I, I, I hope it does reach those people and I hope it gives them a little bit of, of inspiration because that's exactly, obviously not knowing about the pandem pandemic when I was writing, the book but that's exactly the inspiration that i wanted the book to give people and now i think it's more important uh, than ever well it's a hugely important award the wales book of the year i mean i was lucky enough to be a judge on the english language list in 2008 2009 i think it was the actual award it's the year that deborah k davis won for uh, grace tamar and laszlo the beautiful that was our choice. It was me, um, Tiffany Atkinson and John Barney were the judges. And it was an amazing experience. I've got to say, you know, all kudos to the judges because it's a really overwhelming experience. You know, I can remember those boxes of books turning up, uh, being couriered to my doorstep and that slight sinking feeling of kind of thinking, oh my God, there's another, there's another 30 books just arrived that I've got to try and uh, do justice to. And there were hundreds. I mean, I think I, I counted them up and I remember having to sort of go through about 200 books or more in that year. Um, but what it showed me then, so 12 years ago, and I think this is even more the case now, is what an amazing breadth of writing there is coming from Wales, being published in Wales, with some kind of Welsh connection. Um, and it's a wonderful place to be a writer. I mean, this has been one of the reasons that I have I've stayed here and made my home here is that I have never felt, um, I mean, Wales has such a long, proud tradition of love for the written word and respect for the written word. Um, and to be accepted and to be celebrated as part of that is a really humbling and amazing um, thing to happen for a writer um, and to have that sort of recognition. 
Uh, gosh, that's a point. Um, I don't know, somewhere in here, I suppose. Will the trophy will land? I'll have to clear, uh, as you can probably see, there's not many uh, clear spaces left in, in, in my office. I am a bit of a hoarder and a bit of a clutterer, as is my partner. So uh, we are going to have to shift something out of the way to fit it in. But, um, you know, we'll be celebrating. We do have friends, my partner, Preds, he's built an amazing um, sort of self-contained, socially distanced place for friends to come and stay during this summer because we've got a lot of mates who have had such a rough time over the last few months, you know, living in tiny places with no outdoors and they've had really rough times. So we wanted, we've got the space, we wanted to give them just a chance for a bit of a holiday. So we have got people here over uh, the few days. So no doubt there'll be some socially distancing partying going on here at Shugoch just as it's a brilliant place for party even a socially distanced one so we'll be we'll be whooping it up <laughs>